Um, how how hard has it been negotiating and everything with the purse bids going one way? Well, the purse bids don't let me a load of nonsense, otherwise the fight would have taken place. And as far as uh, negotiating with Adam Booth, who's uh, George's manager, that's been one of the hardest things I've ever done in my time in boxing. But I was determined to make the fight happen, and uh, we got it on. Um, talking about the fight, then, um, what do you think it is between the two of them that makes this such a... a a great grudge. Well, I think long before I got involved with uh, with James, and certainly before you know, I just met George, really, uh, obviously they've had a, a rivalry going back to their amateur days. There's no love lost there. It's not like we're trying to make up some promotional um, hype between the two of them. I mean, they genuinely seem that they don't like each other. I was quite you know, sitting there looking at him, thinking, my God, this is a bit of a, you know, this is for real as far as they're concerned. You know, it's not just about the British title, it's not just about the Commonwealth title, they don't come from West London, and it's about who is going to be the pride of West London, who's going to be the man, who's the one who's going to walk down the high street, who everybody knows, beat the other guy, you know, that's what that's what it's about, there's a lot of pride at the state, a lot, of, a lot involved here, and there's going to be fireworks, there's no doubt about it, you know, I know George Groves is going to come with everything he's got to, to, to win the fight, the same as James will. One, one thing as well is that I can't remember having this much talent you know two guys who have so much talent meeting at this early stage I can't remember something like this well that's what's happening in boxing you know it's been happening for not just now it's been happening for a long time you look, look and see you know years ago fighters you look back to the Alan Minter days and you know the, uh, you know, the Kalers and all those guys the Morris Hopes they would have 24, 25 fights before they think for a British title that's what they would do and now guys are fighting up for 12 13 fights and you know for titles and uh, James was very what he did was phenomenal winning the British title in his ninth fight in the other guys back there and, and I'm sure even George takes out of time and George has done really well in winning the, uh, the Commonwealth title so you've got two guys at the moment who you know are, are both at the top I wouldn't say they're even at the top of their game you know they're they're, they're both winning fighters they, they've not experienced taste of defeat as pros um and you know, maybe that two years down the road, this would be a bigger fight. But then again, one, maybe one would have got me. The time's right for all the control, all the all the defence. We were not prepared to duck away from it. You know, as far as we're concerned, it's a fight that, that um, we want for our man. So that's where we are. Um, obviously, you got big confidence in James uh, to win, but. Is this something that if it's close, it could happen again? Is it something that if he loses, it would be an instant rematch? Well, it's like all these fights, it depends what the outcome is. If it's a really tough, competitive 12 round fight, then I'm sure that it'll be a cream for a rematch. We see that with Ben and Eubanks, we've seen it with lots of fights. If it's a quick quick job, if somebody gets beat, it's a one sided fight, we're not going to know until the 21st. The main thing is we've got the, the first one away, so let's see how we go with that.